Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add schema microdata markup to your website's pages in order to help search engine crawlers scan your content more effectively, and thus it improves the display of search results, and thus makes it easier for people to find your pages, assuming the content is relevant to them. Now, you might be asking, uh, what in the heck is schema microdata? I'll touch on that more in a second, but basically it's descriptive data within your HTML, and this is written specifically for search engines to give them a better idea of your content, better than the content itself can do. So you can think of it sort of like the synopsis on the back of a book. Usually that's the first thing you check out, right? You don't jump right in and start reading the entire book to get a feel for it. You read the back cover first. It's sort of like that with the search engines. It tells them what's what without them having to guess. Now that's the stuff that users don't see. But schema microdata can also be used to control the text that pops up in search engine results. I'll get more into that in a second too. Now all that said, this microdata isn't currently calculated and rewarded directly by search engines and their algorithms. But they can still help your pages appear more prominently in search results. And from there can result in higher click-through rates, thanks to search engines using this microdata to display rich snippets which helps users more quickly determine whether or not the content of your pages is exactly what they're looking for. Now, most websites don't use schema markup. Only actually a very small percentage do, something like less than half percent of all websites. So you might be thinking, well, if everyone's not doing it, it must not be very important. But actually, that's a very good reason why you should take advantage of it, so you can stay ahead of the competition. For a little bit of background on what exactly this microdata is, let's have a look at schema.org. It's a collective community formed by people from Google, from Microsoft, Yahoo, and Yandex to standardize structured markup. This includes things like event data, recipes, ratings, certain organizations or people, places, specific products, and so on. This is the markup that the end user won't see when they visit the site but that search engines use to more easily determine what the contents of a web page are and how to treat them, and will show up as content within the search result pages. Without this markup, content is just a bunch of information without any context. Microdata gives it that context, which is useful for search engines. So for instance, without this microdata, a web page will show up in the search results with content from the meta description tag if it has one. Or search engines will just guess, so to speak, and grab text content from the site, which may or may not be the content you would like to have show up in the search results pages. By using microdata, though, your web pages can show up in the search results pages with star ratings, with publication dates, and other rich snippets, which is nicer for you and for users, but then search engines will also have a better idea of how to categorize and treat your content. As an example here, let's just Google best homemade chili recipe. And all these sites in the first pages of the results, they look great. They have thumbnail images. Some have star ratings and reviews, which catches the eye. This one has prep time and calorie count. Concise descriptions that are all on point. All of this is done with schema microdata. Now let's go deeper into the search results and look at sites that aren't doing so well. And we'll see results like this. Okay, it's about a recipe, so users in this case don't need the most beautiful descriptions. They pretty much know what they're getting when they click on a page with a recipe. But no image, no ratings, and text that looks like it was just grabbed randomly from the site. This page isn't using schema microdata at all. So, you get the picture. With microdata, you can do the search engines a big favor, and therefore you can do yourself a big favor by rising in the results. But you can also tweak and perfect all the info that users see when you come up in the results. And if you're using microdata to clean all this up and make your appearance in the results pages look great, while at the same time your competition isn't, well, who do you imagine visitors will click on first? So let's look at how we can add this microdata. After running our website on SEO Site Checkup, we can see that it's not taking advantage of these markups. If we click on How to Fix, we see an example of the HTML code that we can add to our website's pages. Now this code needs to be added to every property you'd like to apply it to, on every page you'd like it to. So if you have a large website with lots of pages, bear in mind that this can be a slow manual process. But let's just show you a few quick examples here so you can see how this works. At schema.org, in the Schemas tab, 
you can see a general breakdown here of all the different categories within the schema hierarchy. In our case, let's say we have a website that deals with movies. So we'd like to add some microdata to our content on movies and actors. And note that you can click here to see the entire schema catalog of microdata types. In our case, let's start with this film title in our content. First, we'll just copy and paste this code. The item scope here tells search engines that content within this div tag is related to a particular item. In the example code, that item is a person. In the case of your website, we'd like that item to be a movie. So, since movie exists as an item in schema, we can simply replace it here. Or you can copy the entire item type URL here. And let's say this content related to an actor in the film, we'd also like to add microdata to. In this case, we can apply the person item type. Or, since it exists in the schema catalog, actor. And just for fun, let's also add a star rating rich snippet through microdata as well. We can find that at schema.org under aggregate rating. We'll just copy that code, paste it in our web page, and adjust the numbers as we like. Then finally, once we're all done, it's a good idea that we test this to make sure that we've implemented it correctly. To do that, just Google Structured Data Testing Tool, and then click on the first result here. Pop in your URL, and run the test. And over here, it will tell you if there are any errors or suggestions. So now, instead of our web pages showing up in search results with either the content in the meta description, if we have one, or with content generated by Google, we can use microdata to produce rich snippets in our search results. So again, by adding this microdata, search engines won't exactly increase your rank signal, at least not with the current algorithms. But this microdata will help search engines understand your content more deeply, and then will push more relevant content into search results. Therefore, your relevant content will be more visible to those searching for it, and your click-through rate will rise thanks to attracting users who are looking for content like yours. And that's it! Now we're very happy to keep helping you with your SEO efforts. You can also help us out with just one tiny click and subscribe to our channel here. And get updated on more free videos on how to climb the search engine rankings. Thanks a lot.